on this. On right set. Yeah, yeah. Because I. The bass on. I'm too sexy. Yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy. Iconic. Yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got, well, that was a live take as well. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was and a you live had a five take. String on that, no, no. I tuned. A, I you tuned. tuned a four string down. I tuned a four string down. Yeah, yeah. The. Um, Did you think that was going to be a massive hit when you recorded it? I don't know really. I mean, it was um, they. Uh, the guys were on were on welfare, you know. Okay. Okay. So they didn't have a record deal. <laughs> okay. okay? Uh, and uh, the 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 people down at the studio, Red Bus Studios in just off the Edgware Road, Church Street Market. Um, there was a secretary in there, um, and she'd. Um, she uh, she she asked me if because I, I was doing a lot of work in right. there with with uh, Heaven 17 and uh, the British Electric Foundation. She said, oh, will you play bass on this record for us? And I said, yeah, of course I will. You know, yeah, well, no problem, I'll play, yeah, whatever. And it was this record. And uh, and then, of course, the guys, again, they were up for a party and it became like quite a party-like atmosphere in the studio. And uh, the producer was a DJ. Mm -hmm. you, and you can you can you can hear it on the record, yes, right, yeah, and okay. you see I'd never experienced that before mm -hmm. either. You know I'd been in with all these like, I suppose traditional producers. Right, you know right. there's the producers that are good at getting bunches of people together and let them do the work, right. or there's the producers that have an active part right, in in arranging mm -hmm. and looking at the music and stuff. And I'd never been in a studio with a record produced by a DJ. Mm -hmm. And uh, what he had was that he could feel really well. He could feel what was what was good. Mm. What because I suppose if you're spinning records, you've got to turn your audience on, haven't right, you? So you've awesome. got to know what what you know, you've got to kind of got to get a feeling of how you're going to make them feel. And uh, so he knew what felt really good. And um, and I don't know how on earth we decided to do this. It must have been my idea because it was so low. And I said, yeah, I, I said, yeah, I said, let, let, let me tune the E string down to a B. Wow. And so I tuned all the strings down, all, uh, so so that you had a you a bottom B, then an E, right. then an A, and then a D. And then a D mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and and that's why on the record you can hear it's all flappy. Yeah, it is. Because yeah. because the, the strings were like you know you, I could have picked it up like that with the strings you know because that because because they were so loose, mm. and uh, and it's also the, you can hear where it's out of tune as well. Yes, yes. It's slightly out of tune. I'm pulling if I pulled the string just slightly, I pulled it. I pulled it. Pulled it sharp, and uh, I mean Richard. I remember the Richard the singer saying. He said, "You know, I really like that. Really, when we get round to that bit, it makes me smile." And <laughs> uh, and so we um, we purposely put some sharp bits in. Oh, is that right? On, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. oh, that, that 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 was one take as well. It was another one taker um, because uh, I'd had an idea of what to do. I was like following uh, uh, like village people stuff, okay, you know, because yeah, sure, sure. I, I loved the village people uh, and. Um, uh, what's the name of the? Um, that's the way I like oh, it. Uh, Casey da, da, and yeah, band, Casey yeah. and Sunshine right. Band. That's it. Yeah, uh, those kind of guys. And uh, uh, so it was kind of kind of based on that, really, um, with uh, with um, with the octave stuff, you know. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, you can hear it where where it's 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 pulled, and and it actually it was one take except there's a break. Uh, uh, about two thirds of the way through the song, where they didn't have anything, there was nothing going right, on, right, nothing right. was on. They said, "I will just break during that bit, just stop." So I stopped doing that bit, and then came back in, and Julie went to the end, um, and then uh, I think Tommy said, "Can we try a bit of bass in that break?" And uh, that's where I went. Um, that's all sharp. It's all sharp. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all sharp. It's just a tiny bit. It's just a tiny bit sharp. If you if you can hear it, if you can, if you, you know, you you can hear it. I can hear. I can hear it sharp. And we used to think it was funny. <laughs> you know, and then I used to say to people, 
then I started to say to people, and I say to this day, ah, don't worry, no one listens to the bass. <laughs> <laughs> no, one, no one listens to the bass. <laughs>